Uh, my name is John Larrigan and I'm the former governor of Mount Chai Prison. And why are you here today? I'm here because of advice, first of all, uh, which is wonderful. And uh, of course, I'm a total believer in, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the important work, the vital work that organisations like Faroe you do with young people. Uh, it's a great opportunity for young people. And it's a great opportunity for the, for the uh, volunteers with, with Faroe as well. And I believe that the contribution that they make in the development of young people is, is immense, huge. Uh, and it's about encouraging them as well. It's about sharing some of my own experience as well. I had a lot of experience over the years of working with people in difficult enough circumstances like in prison and still I still fundamentally believe that every human being is special and every human being has potential uh, and as I use the word nurturing all the time it's about nurturing the good focusing on the good and the, the ability of people rather than the negative uh, and encouraging people uh, to you know to 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 reach their potential whatever that is and it's ex and, and accepting that that, uh, that you know uh, every individual's potential is different uh, and and if everyone reaches their full potential well then that's it and we're not doing that at the moment uh, but for and organizations like for are you know are, are, are doing a vital uh, role in in trying to achieve that but uh, you know we have lots of children who will never reach their potential uh, and, and, and while that's the case well then we've got to continue to struggle you know so a lot of a lot of life is is, is dependent on self-confidence and once you have self-confidence well then many doors will open and that's what for doing is doing you know with young people it's, it's building up their confidence Confident uh, children, you know, are, are going to make it in so many different ways. But if you have no confidence, you'll disintegrate when, when challenge comes. So, from my my experience of uh, of Mokranatua, which is, as I said, for Oigina, it was very positive, and I, I look back at it with the fondest of memories. And we're here today at a volunteer conference. Um, how important do you think, like, how important do you think volunteerism is? Obviously, it's it's of immense importance to to both. It's important to young people to have uh, older people as youth leaders and sharing their life experience. I mean, that's the one thing that you do, age brings you, is, is wisdom and experience of life. And that's a an invaluable thing to share with young people. Uh, and then on the other side of the coin is that the, the volunteers themselves get into satisfaction out of volunteering, giving of yourself, uh, you know, in terms of your expertise and your knowledge and, and, and doing it a, a, on a positive uh, basis for to help and to share with other people. That's so rewarding. And, uh, only the volunteers themselves themselves know the benefits. They get today, but they, you know, one woman said today or in the, or the audience that she gets, she gets more out than she puts in and that is exactly that what I've been saying to people. You, you know, the rewards are immense and huge. Um, and I mean, without organisations like Feroiga and many other youth organisations, so the, 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 the country will collapse. Uh, you know, the state is not doing its fair share at all in terms of occupying. Most young people will tell you they have nothing to do, they have nowhere to go, they have no, and then we blame them for hanging around and doing nothing and getting into trouble so what we fill their time we give them something positive to do even to me just to have somewhere to go uh, th that's so important uh, and then to be treated and, and to be respected that's, as I said today which I stand over in many cases and in a lot of pe young people's lives uh, the club you know is the best experience of their week and that is some achievement and we called out today for more male volunteers. You say that male role, role models in particular are very, very important. Why would you say male role models are important? Oh my God, they are so important, especially to boys. Uh, positive role models. I mean, a lot of children have, have role models, but they don't always be positive role models. And that's what, what uh, you know, uh, youth leaders do as well. They, they, they bring into the child's life a positive uh, role model image. Uh, and uh, I believe that, uh, you know, there's, there's t there are two different uh, contributions that there the female contribution, which is the you know women's contribution, is immense and is significant, uh, and just as significant, by the way, as men's. But equally, we need a balance, and the balance is that men and women are different, uh, physically and mentally and, and emotionally. And by having that balance, uh, to have an, an influence uh, by males in the life of, of boys, and, and often in girls as well. I found that in the prison, even that you know positive male role models in, in the women's prison were were immeasurable because most women had bad uh, experiences of men, you know, where they were violated, where they were the subject of violence by men and all that. And then to meet a, a male who had a different approach and, and was a positive influence. Uh, and so I think to get the balance right. As well as that, men need to be involved because by and large, my experience going around the country to parent meetings in, and, and uh, community uh, meetings, the vast numbers nowadays are women. 99% often in my audiences in schools are, are mothers. And that's, that can't be right. 
and, and is, I suppose it gives men something to do as well because a lot of men today feel disconnected because of the way the world has changed and because their roles are not as clearly identifiable anymore and, and this is an area where people can actually get involved and meet other people they learn a lot as well about themselves and about others I mean I keep emphasising this uh, This is a, a very positive element of it as well you learn a lot about yourself as well uh, it's not all about the other people learning but you learn uh, you know when you're confronted with different situations how do you react then the experience of what you gain through that experience that can be you know wonderful for the future as well so we learn about ourselves and we learn about others and uh, and, and so volunteering and it, and it is fulfilling um, it's fulfilling in the sense that you'll see people uh, benefiting from it and, and, and for me that sort of a, a, an inner feeling is, is tremendously important for human beings to feel good about themselves and giving to others is a great way of doing that.